welcome to another makeup video um i don't really have a look planned so we're just gonna kind of figure it out as we go so you're gonna want to start with doing all your skincare and then i just put this on while i'm doing my face so that way i can kind of moisturize my lips and i'm gonna start with the urban ultra glow primer And I went back to using the KVD Locket foundation. I love the good apple one. I'm just kind of swapping between the two. So I'm just going to do one pump. And I want kind of a natural finish, so I'm just going to set under my eyes. That way when I put my eyeshadow on, I could just brush it away, um, any of the fallout I get. And I'm just using the NYX Translucent. I'm just using a flat foundation brush to kind of pack it in. Just a light layer. And I'm also going to set like a tiny bit on my forehead, my chin. So basically T-zone, but I'm not going to set my nose because I'm going to contour my nose with a cream contour and you don't want to do cream on top of powder. So next I'm going to contour. I've been using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and I'm going to take, it's called M449 from Morphe. That's what I'm going to do is to contour my cheeks. So I'm just going to swirl it in there a little bit. And this stuff is buildable, so I'm going to start light and kind of blend it in. I'm packing most of it in up near the top here so that way I can kind of just drag it down so it fades. So that way I can kind of start in the middle, blend it up, blend it down, and get that fade. I'm going to be using black to kind of just map out what kind of shape I want. This one always comes out just how I want it. The other one, however it comes out, so again, how I usually do them, I will, out of the corner of my eye, I guess, look at this one while still looking at this one, so that way I can kind of look at both, so I can get the same angle at least. If the tail ends don't match up, 
cover it with your hair and you're all good. So good enough. And that's also why I do it lightly in eyeshadow. That way if I mess it up, I can just... And then once I have the shape, I will kind of make them how wide I want it with the eyeshadow. So eyeshadow is kind of just like the rough draft before I go in with the good stuff. And then I'm going to use a NYX liner to kind of go in very lightly. The tip of these isn't, I don't know, it's not teeny tiny. So I got to be careful when drawing them because if I press down too hard, it kind of widens it. So... There's one. The ends definitely <laughs> did not come out the same, but it's okay because no one's going to be looking at you straight on like all day, so. Yeah, they're at two completely different angles, but it's fine. For primer, I love everything KVD, so I recently tried the Shake Primer. So I will usually just drop it on my hand and then use my beauty blender, like the tip of it, to kind of apply it to both eyes. So I'm going to be using the black from the Born to Run Urban Palette. I also like the Urban Black because a little goes a long way with it. You don't have to sit there and pack it and pack it um, like I normally have to do with that Morphe palette I bought just for the black. You have to really pack that on. And I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is from the Simpsons Trias of Horror brush set and I really like the brushes in it.
and I was just gonna do like a nice neutral I was gonna blend like a brown into it um I'm kind of feeling doing blue I thought about that first and I'm like nah so my favorite blue is from this palette it has like the best colors in it if you want to see me do any looks with any of these specific let me know pick out a color combo for me so one of my favorite brushes is the ABH one from the Modern Renaissance palette. This end is so good. I'm going to be using Bearded Lady and I'm just going to blend it into the black. not going super hard with the blue I'm just doing a little as a treat so just a little like that just to give it like a little blue glow And then I'm just going to add a little bit more black to the bottom. So I'm just first going to fill it in with some eyeliner. Just to darken it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in with eyeshadow. And then I've been a fan of putting white in the corners lately, so I'm going to use another from the Simpsons palette. And then I'm going to do the liner on the top. Our mascara, the Urban Decay Perversion. For lashes, the Kiss ones have been my favorite lately, so you're going to want to size it to your eye. They pretty much fit me, but I know that end is going to tickle me and make my eyes water, so you just want to trim a teeny tiny bit, so I will usually do like that last little corner and that's usually enough um i kind of cut it at an angle so it's angled like that and i measure it by that corner just so that you can make sure they're even on both then i'm gonna cut this one same angle so that way 
it doesn't go into my eye. And then I'll usually save the little ends just in case I want to do like some accent ones or something at some point. And I'll be using the clear duo glue. So this one I literally wait like a couple seconds before I can put them on. So for putting them on, set them on top. And kind of push it into the lash line. Okay, so I have a very matte setting spray. I like using my Fourth Ray Hyaluronic Acid Spray to kind of mix with it to give it more of a natural finish. It almost gives it more of a glowy finish, so I do the matte first. Which Urban does have other options, this is just the one I have right now. And then when that's still wet, I go in with the hyaluronic acid spray and that way it stays all hydrated. Also using the ultra glow primer helps and and this is hydrating as well. And then of course I have my skincare underneath. I'm going to do lips and then add some other small details. So I'm going to be using whiskey in the urban eye pencil for a lip liner. And I want to give them a little more dimension, so I'm just going to add a little bit of a lighter color in the middle. And then I'm going to put a gloss over it. I like the Juicy Balm Glosses from Essence. This one is shade Watermelon Crush. And then I'm going to add a little more details. Wish my camera quality was better, but that is today's look. I will be posting probably outfit and 
more detailed, I guess, close-up pictures on my Instagram account. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I never know how to end these. <laughs>